back. Uh, yeah, uh, welcome back to Final Fantasy X. 10 10 2. Oh, God, yeah, force a habit. In this episode, we're going to revisit Killika. Yay! Now, you probably noticed this looks nothing like Killika. No, it really don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's been fully rebuilt by the Youth League. Good on your Youth League. So, yeah, so they rebuild as well. Yeah, they're. <laughs> They're not evil shitheads. That's that's why I like the Youth League better. They are evidently not evil shitheads. But anyway, um, yeah. So uh, this place is fully rebuilt, and like I was saying before, Tentu will sometimes take an area and just completely rework it, or send you to a different part of it. Yeah. So you can um, re-explore it with a new, uh, a fresh set of eyes and explore new areas, which. It's all well and good, and that's amazing. It just means I'm going to spend quite a little bit of time staggering around this area, not quite remembering <laughs> where to go. Unlike Final Fantasy X, I've only beaten this game like twice. Okay. Final Fantasy X. Well, I've I think you a missed bunch. a bit over there anyway, to the far left. Um, no, no, no. I don't think you'd actually go there. Like I say, I think I go everywhere that it's possible to go. For now, anyway. Like I say, as the chapters go on, areas kind of open up a little more. Okay. And treasure chests respawn, so all the chests you picked up, go around the whole game and grab them again. Really? Yeah. Which, if you're a completionist, is is like a nightmare, but if you just like getting loads of items for free, that's fantastic. And uh, another cool thing is that treasure chests don't count towards your 100%, so they're, they're optional. You don't have to get them. Oh, that's alright then. We're going to get them, but you don't have to. Well, yeah, but I mean, at least you don't have to get 100. That's good. Mm. That's the one bit of leeway the game gives you in regards to that goddamn uh, perfect ending. I will be trying my best to show off as many endings as I can anyway, because... I think even like the sad ending, like even the bad endings of this game are still kind of like chipper and light-hearted and fun to watch, so... Okay. Yeah. Mm. We'll All right. see when we get there. Oh yeah, definitely. So, let's have a little uh, visit of an old friend. Who is definitely around here somewhere. God damn it, where is she? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, this place is complicated. Um. Oh hey, we've got some accessories there. Don't need any of those. I'll probably just sell them off to Owako anyway. In fact, if I want to buy things, I'll just do it from Owako so I can try and clear that debt. Yeah. Well, you got a lot to spend, so... Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this is the place I want to be. Uh, yes, it's around here. You think? I think. <laughs> like I say, it's been a while since I recorded this. We've been a little occupied with Christmas and all that malarkey. Just <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> <sighs> my, my, my. Fine, have it your way. Donna! Go on, leave. Donna! Oh, Bartello, you're still my favourite. You're still like a sweet angel of a person, even if you are a new Yevonite. No! Oh no! Oh, he's. He's a sad. He's done a hecking sad. <laughs> well, look who we have here. Good to see you. What's with Bartello? Well, nothing out of the ordinary. I am with the Youth League, and he is with New Yevon. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, wow. It makes living together rather difficult. But you've been together so long. To each his own. Exactly. But out. Ex fucking excuse me. How about a little solidarity? We're on the same goddamn suicide mission. <laughs> a little respect would be nice, <laughs> Donna. <laughs> I saved you from having to kill yourself. Just saying. Okay, whatever. We're leaving. Yeah, fuck her. God damn, Donna. 
I'm still salty about you, and you aren't even the summoner who tried to kill me. <laughs> it's Asaru I should be angry at. Anyways, um, there's one more thing that we do need to do around here in order to get that sweet hundo. And it is around here somewhere. Uh, the FAQ says there's an NPC you need to talk to who gives you a good view of that base being built in the background there. And so this is me uh, trying to figure out what NPC that would be. <laughs> yeah, would it be the camera person, maybe? I, you know, you'd make that assumption, wouldn't you? But I wasn't thinking straight, <laughs> so I was, I was like, uh, is there like a, is there a telescope or something? Or uh, where do I? How do I? How do I get a nice look at that base? I'm a dumb. I can be a bit of a dumb sometimes. Okay, leave me alone. <laughs> How? It's, it's got a camera. <laughs> yeah, I know. I didn't. They're put... sitting there looking directly at it. I didn't put two and two together. You need to talk to cameraman to look at the base. Until oh. now, anyway. I think it's around here that I was like, wait, wait, no. I've, I've reached the end of Killica. This isn't right. I need to go back. Oh my god. Cameraman. Oh, goddamn. Speaking of camera, Jesus Christ. Um. Okay, let's go. Up here, cameraman! Or maybe fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> you just gonna run past him! I'm gonna talk to everyone but him! There he is. Lovely, got him. Let's take a look. Your base looks like the top the, the roof has exploded. <laughs> I don't know what don't know what you're going for with that roof there, but okay. What are you gonna do when it rains? You're just gonna get wet. <laughs> nah, that way. Oh well, anyway, that's Killica. Now let's um let's do the uh let's let's approach the last hot spot so we can finish up chapter one. Because as soon as you do all the hot spots, it does take you to the end of the chapter. So you can actually power through this game very quickly if you want to. So you don't have to grind. Not necessary. I mean if you're on New Game Plus and your characters are already beefy. You don't need to do any side quests, you can just go straight to hot spots and beat the game in about, about a couple of hours at the very wow, most, yeah. so yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Memories. Memories that have been tarnished by goddamn tourists. Oh my god. Yeah. A tourist attraction. Whose idea was that? <sighs> I feel like this whole area is kind of a microcosm for how Final Fantasy X-2 was received. I don't think it's doing it on purpose, but it's kind of what it becomes, because this is like meant to be a uh, dark, solemn, very emotional place, and now it's become kind of like, oh, hey, it's become a wacky and fun Tourist and zany. attraction. Yeah, it's become like wacky, fun and zany, and Yuna's response is, this isn't how I remember it. I don't like this. And that's honestly how a lot of people respond to 10 too. That is true. They're like, oh, it's not got the same dark tone. It's not all miserable anymore. What the hell? What is this? What is this, bollocks? But, yeah. I don't know if that's intention. Oh, speaking of, hello. You've changed so much, I hardly recognize you. Remember me? Remember you? You tried to fucking kill me! <laughs> yes, I remember you! How was it good to see him? <laughs> oh, hey, Yuna. We're, we're gonna let that whole assassination thing go under the rug, right? We're, we're buds now? We good? Sin's gone. That makes everything okay. Like what? <laughs> he tried to kill you. <laughs> I don't think there's any other character in the game that we've encountered that has actively tried to kill Yuna. <laughs> Except for Isaru here. Well, goddamn. I can see this is upsetting you. Oh well, at least he's a nice dude outside of that one incident. We'll give him that. He's not actively catty. But still, like... he tried killing you! Yeah, he's not actively- Surely that will be like, if someone tried killing me, I would never forgive them. <laughs> well, he had to, it was his duty as a follower of Yevon, okay? What, to kill the High Sumpter? If you say so. He was, I mean, you weren't the high summoner, you were just, you were both summoners, so that makes it okay. You are in the same rank, yo. Oh my God. And you were a traitor as far as he knew. He thought he was doing the, I'm going to play devil's advocate. He thought, Isaru thought he was doing the right thing. <laughs> he wasn't, he was a shit, but, yeah. Oh. Anyways, uh, 
That little debate aside, let's have a little stroll over to Zanakund. Oh, oh, hello. We've got some goons following us. Fun times. Taro, Hana, you ready? Um, what was the clue again? Come on, it's key. All right, let's head out. Yes, sir. I'm so happy that Passe has like <laughs> has kid friends and they go on kid adventures together. That's adorable. But also, you know, he can handle his own because he is also a, for all intents and purposes, a legendary guardian. So yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know if he'd be legendary because Isaru didn't beat Sin. You did, but you know, he was a guardian at the very least. Now, here's Oversoul. I think I brought this up before, but we never actually got to see it. Sometimes your enemies will Oversoul, they get super beefy, they get buffed to hell, and um, you get way more reward for beating them. So, first thing I am going to do is uh, kill that nasty white elemental there, so I don't have to worry about him. Which is uh, probably going to involve a little more than the gun mages. Here we go. So what element is the white element? Or ice element? Oh, it's the icy one, yeah. We'll just do a quick kill on him. Finish him off. There we go. And now we can just focus all of our efforts on that oversold yet blinded Nashorn. Apparently Nashorn is just Rhino in German. Even though it's evidently not a Rhino. It's a big fuck-off monster. But there you go. Yeah. Hmm. I can see it because of the horns, maybe. Yeah, I suppose. Anyways, pushing on forward. What up, kids? Oh, sorry, random encounters happened. Do you remember me? Now, Passe, I remember you fondly. I'm not sour at you. you it's your big brother who irks me. <laughs> In fact, that's probably the reason why Maroda was so sour about Isaru, is the fact that he tried to kill you. <laughs> probably, yeah. That might be the reason he's so annoyed at him. Or maybe it's just a, uh, a New Yevon Youth League thing. It might be that. Fiends? Ha! Uh-huh, that's right! We're Spear Hunters! The Kindergartians! <laughs> oh, so I can't get over that one kid just having Phil and Lil's voice. <laughs> it's just Phil and Lil's voice. So key must be a clue to finding the treasure. Uh-huh, that's right! Shh, we paid 15 whole gil for that! Come on, let's go! <laughs> Dude in the background is just like, yep, I'm taking all this in. <laughs> Kindergartians, move out! See you, Lady Yuna! He's like, yep, I'm inconspicuous. You can't see me. Apparently they can't. Riku's looking right at him! He's right there! Riku, acknowledge the guy! You're about to run into him. Oh well. On that note, let's go beat him up. Come in, come in. Do you read me? Oh, hey, I wanted to double check that clue. It's Mon, right? Nah, it's just that I heard some kids saying it was key. This is the part of the game where all of your character's IQ drops. <laughs> yeah, I figured it was Mon. Over and out. The clues are Key and Mon. Put it together. What? The Gullwings? It's not hard. Keymon? Come on. Keymon. Key yeah, no, Key you got it, Yuna. Monkey! Yay! <laughs> Well, Riku got the right answer, but apparently her, her facial animation just went. She had like a bit of a stroke as she said that, so okay. What was with her eyes there? What no, was, I, I can't I, get I, over I that don't part. Know. That part weirds me out so much. Anyway. A bit what shouldn't necessarily weird you out does. Hmm. Anyways, more of these dudes. They're the exact same as they were before, so I'm just going to mow through them like they ain't no thing. Must you be so sickeningly dead? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother gratifying them with showing their deaths, it's implied. 
<laughs> These guys got murked in like one hit. Really, that weak? Well, yeah, they're just the same goons that you've encountered before. They go down like a sack of spuds. Oh, with oh the my slightest God. breeze. Oh, hello. Now here's here's a dude who might be a, cause a little more problems. Well, a little. If these things oversoul, they focus all their attacks on one character and they get really vicious, so... Yeah, best thing to do is just um, keep them stunlocked with attacks. If you've got like a full team of thieves or any class that attacks quickly, like the gunner, you can essentially just stunlock a behemoth so it can't move and it's super satisfying. <laughs> Let's just keep hitting him with shit. Whoosh. Oh dear, Thunder. <laughs> all that, but I've got Mighty Guard on, so it did sod all damage. Get wrecked, you big purple oaf. It'll steal your health and your MP to end the battle. Nice. Proper. Mm-hmm. What a way to finish it. Yep. Just absorb his life essence. Oh, hello. That's kind of creepy. Mm, yeah, a little bit. Um, but, you know what, I'm just gonna say it again. How fucking grateful are all of you guys? I saved the fucking world. Have we all forgotten this? I saved the world. How about you stop trying to beat me up? Anyway, Ms. Goon is a, um, is actually an improved version of the She Goons that we saw earlier. You know, so they wear yellow uniform instead of red. They're a little bit tougher, and, um, if you confuse them, you can get them to cast White Wind on the party, which can teach that to your gun mages. Unfortunately, I kind of realised that I shot myself in the foot, because I'm now so over-leveled that my confusion attack kills them in one hit. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to learn White Wind a little later. I'm going to have to <laughs> save that for another time. Maybe against the enemy who I don't just, you know, body them immediately. <laughs> Maybe. In fact, I you confusion to kill you. Yep. Yeah, that wasn't meant to happen. Um... <laughs> yeah, not not really. <laughs> Alright, well, um... One thing that does confuse me is if this is a tourist attraction, why all the fiends? Wouldn't you have cleared them out, maybe? <laughs> Made this place a little safer? Yeah. There's a lot of... Yeah, that's your fear. Come to think about it, yeah. There, like... there are a lot of elderly women around here. I can only assume that they've hired bodyguards for the purpose of visiting this place. All those women are, like, amazing. Or may yeah, or maybe those like um, attendants there who are all like, "Oh, welcome to Zanakund." If you if you fuck with them, they just pull out a fucking Gatling gun <laughs> and take you out. <laughs> like, they've got to be armed somehow. Just a coincidence. Dah, oh, monkeys. So going to chat to these little monkeys here it gives you a little bit of a. Uh, a hint at a side quest that comes way later, where you've got to do matchmaking with a bunch of monkeys, and it's adorable. Duh. Oh yeah, but they can also steal your money, so yeah, careful on that one. <laughs> Cheeky fuckers. <laughs> Little bastards, I know. Man, remember last time we were here? How fucking emotionally draining it was? Mm -hmm. <laughs> how heavy this whole area was? Again, yeah, it's a microcosm for Tent 2. Like, everything's now become more light-hearted and fun, and some people aren't as cool with that. How can you have fun retracing your footsteps where you was going to die? <laughs> well, remember, not... I don't... Hmm. I was going to say, your common, your average Joe wouldn't know about the summoners having to kill themselves, but they definitely did. So, yeah, that was just a morbid thing for that lady to say. Come to buy a clue from Uncle Sid, have you? Freaky now we drag egg. Huh? Turning this place into a gift shop? Hello? What, you got a bone to pick? So, what's eating you? Well, I can't really say, but it's just not right. Huh? Oh, it's like us turning the ruins of home into a theme park. I imagine dollar signs appearing in Sid's eyes and going, That's a great idea! Let's do this! <laughs> 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 theme park time! Oh, 
Well, there's a little tutorial on the monkeys if you want to go ahead and match make them. I'll do that later. Uh, for now, we're just going to power on ahead and we're going to get to the end of Zanakund and find ourselves a new sphere. Yeah. Let's pop these treasure chests open because we can't not do that. <laughs> it would be painful if I didn't do that. It's quite a lot of them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Big room of six treasure chests. I'm okay with this. Yeah, most definitely. Well, I mean as well because this game, for the most part, even though your characters are OP, uh, some enemies in this are stupidly brutal, so sometimes having a couple of healing items on you is a really good call. Especially if you aren't currently equipped with like a white mage or a gun mage, like anyone to heal. Yeah. So, yeah. Our false hope. This is where we murdered the person after whom I was named. <laughs> Essentially stripping away part of my identity. Yep. <laughs> Who's there? You have done well to make it this far, Sphere Hunters. But you will not have the treasure you seek so easily. So we fight. If you want the treasure, you must speak the password! Password? The clues? Oh, I know! The password is monkey! Uh, uh, yes, good. Uh, okay, so now tell me, what is the meaning of life? What? Uh, so, yeah, just call him on his bullshit. Isaru? <laughs> Hey, that sort of does sound like Isaru. To be fair, if they hadn't mentioned it, I wouldn't have figured that out as being Isaru. <laughs> he's, no, it yeah, doesn't he, sound like he him. He puts on a decent voice. you got to give him that. He's a showman. Uh, fine. <laughs> he just summons Barber and tries to kill you again. <laughs> the true test is surviving Mega Flare. <laughs> My job. Or he just summons San Marty. <laughs> he just insta-kills the party. <laughs> I too once travelled with the hope of seeing this place someday. Working here somehow fulfills that wish. I see. I must apologise for the quiz. Here's something for your trouble. Oh hey! Okay, all is forgiven, Asari. Thank you. That's a good garment grid. It has cure and life magic on it. So now I don't have to waste money on Phoenix Downs. But it's still a dick for trying to kill you. No, no, I've forgiven him now. I've fully Why? forgiven him. Because you know what? He's found his place. He's become like a hokey character actor in the tourist attraction of Zanakund. <laughs> and good for him. And also that garment grid is like the most useful thing in the goddamn world and you can power through most of the game with it. <laughs> Yeah, but okay, still, it's not the point, David. It is the point. Anyway, let's... He tried killing you. That's fine. <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes. Oh, what? Well, I don't go around just killing people. Well, if you did and they came at you, what, two years later? they should, For all intents and purposes, they should forgive you. <laughs> That's how forgiveness works. It's a two, there's a two-year statute of limitations on murder. That's just how it works, okay? <sighs> Anyways, on that note, let's um, fill up that garment grid, equip it to Yuna, and now we can heal. We can heal better, in fact. There you go. It's literally just a full-on improvement of the previous garment grid. Nice. And uh, while we're here, uh, actually, I'm just going to quickly change something. There we go. The the grid already has healing on it, so I might as well just fill it with offensive magic. So yeah, you and it could be a red mage. She could do a little bit of healing and a little bit of murder. She could do a bit of both. What's even better is, as a gun mage or a black mage, she can absorb MP, which is great for more healing. So yeah. It's true. Kind of like Final Fantasy V, there are some really cool combos in this game that allow you to optimise your characters in fun ways. And just like Final Fantasy V, some of those methods are incredibly broken. Aha! Found ya! We're not alone. 
not alone. Think we need a password? How about kick its ass? Oh my god, Payne, you did a naughty word. I think that's the naughtiest word Final Fantasy X has used so far. Ass. <laughs> Alright, well, um, this is basically that big dragon from the first game. Um, I'd say this is the first boss I actually started to have trouble with. Um, not in this playthrough per se, but when I first played 10-2. Uh, this guy can be a little bit of a wall if you haven't grinded enough. And if you haven't equipped yourself with good buffs like Mighty Guards and all that. But if you have done those things, then, you know, same as before, just wail on him. I tried to poison him there because you could poison this guy in the first game, but not so much here. You just have to focus on blinding him. Oh, and just like the first game, he uses Curse, which in this game, instead of blocking your overdrives, blocks your dress spheres. So Lovely. now, yeah, they're stuck with their jobs. Even though their jobs are pretty brutal anyway, so I think I'm okay. <laughs> I wasn't really intending to change them at any point. Oh, missed. So the rest of this battle is just going to be wailing on him now. And you thought they were I would do it with three warriors, but you know, curse, so... I'm just going to keep hitting him. Let's just bap him until he dies. And keep stealing his health as well, so I don't have to worry about healing. And as you can see here, he does have a lot more health than the bosses we've seen so far. Like, all of those oh, guys yeah. would be super dead by now. There are some bosses in this game that have a ludicrous amount of health, and you will need to spend several minutes just, you know, attacking them in order to take them down. And that's optimal. That's like when you're at your best. You still It still takes a while, so... I think I, it's forgivable in this game, though, just because the battle system is so fun. Yeah. Uh, there's something just exhilarating about how quickly your characters attack and the rhythm in which you attack and being able to stun lock him, all that sort of thing. As yeah, well. he didn't really get much attacks out there, did he? Yeah, he no. got a couple of curses out. It's mainly because the blindness and the constant peppering makes it very hard for him to do anything. And I'm okay with that. Yeah, it makes it easier. All that for nothing. Well, it can't hurt to take it with us. I can't believe how much this place has changed. What a somber note to end that mission on. Well, <laughs> ah, Zanakin's been ruined. Oh well. Tourist attractions, fucking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Considering this is a place where they came to die, it's now. Kind of morbid in a way, like you said. Yeah, it's it's, it's very morbid because people. Can't, <laughs> how many people have died in that place? A lot of people, to the point where it's full of goddamn monsters. Yeah. Oh no! Warning. No, that's a good thing. Uh, we've got incoming data. Wow, Ipakusa. What's awesome? We're getting reports of an awesome sphere. Looks like it's already drawn quite a crowd. The reports are from Kilika Woods. I want that sphere. Oh, Scooby Snacks! <laughs> no one gets in the way of Yuna and a Sphere's. I don't want to do this mission, but would you do it for a Sphere? We're listening. Let's go! Party! That's the, um, that's the bit of audio that they reused when they gave you the Festivalist Dress Sphere. They've turned it into a catchphrase in re-releases. It's just something Brother does. 